Hello everyone, hope you're well and welcome to my summer glowy bulletproof melt proof makeup. This is the exact makeup look I had on in this Instagram pic here. Loads of you loved this look um, and I thought I'd recreate it because that Saturday I was out all day, I went to the pub, had a barbecue, it was boiling hot and my makeup just lasted beautifully. I had my makeup on until midnight. It was amazing. No smudging, no oil, no greasiness, no chalkiness, no falling apart. This is the ultimate heat proof, melt proof, summer natural looking makeup. So if you want to see how I got this or how I did this, <laughs> then carry on watching. So I always start off with my Zoe Skin Health. This is the Eclipse Smart Tone. Now you know I've spoken about this a million times but never showed you how I use it. So I've cleansed and moisturised. This is my SPF 50 and I squeeze about that amount. And you can see it's white but when you put it onto the skin it just adapts to your skin tone. Oh my god and it just it acts as a primer and your SPF. It just smooths skin out and just lightly turns into a tint. So if this is all you wore, oh my God, it is incredible. I cannot live without this stuff. I've just got mine sent through the post today because I went all the way to my clinic to pick um, more of this up because it ran out and they didn't have it in stock. So I've had to wait like 10 billion years for it and been having absolute fit. So that just covers me with my SPF, works as a primer um, and evens out skin tone. So it's absolutely beautiful. Obsessed with this stuff. Amazing. Okay, then I like to do my eyebrows first because I don't like fudging my um, foundation. And someone already asked me about this kit <laughs> and how to use it. So this is the Beautiful Brows Kit and this is what I use. I just love it. I take a stencil like this and my Beautiful Brows Brown Shade, which is that one here. This is waterproof, sweat proof, you name it. And what I do is I just stencil the beginning of my brow. So I just kind of fill in like that. You see, do you see how that stencil, it just, oh, I don't know. I've had this kit for like over a year and only started using it now. Can you believe it? Because I just didn't like, my brows just look really sparse in pictures. And can you see the difference this makes? This kind of gives it a richer colour and it really fills them in without it looking like I've drawn a pencil. It just looks so natural. I, oh my God, I love it. And now I will not go out without doing my brows. Look at that, look at that. It's amazing. I'm just trying to think, I'm like, yeah, I have got a thing. It's amazing. So I do that and then I go on to the next brow here. And I always do the beginning bit first. Just fill that and you can and you can be really messy, messy about it, you know, because it just kind of, um, you know, the stencil just does the work for you, I find. Um, and these jelly ones, um, you can order on Amazon. These aren't the ones that actually came with it. They were kind of plastic, uh, yeah, like plastic, but these are jelly. So they kind of really mold into your, um, into your brow really well. Once you get really good at it, you can kind of um, fill it in yourself, but I like to use a stencil because I feel like I get a really good, um, I get really good coverage, do you know what I mean? So that's my brows done, beautiful. Then, Urban Decay Primer Potion on eyes. This is just, um, you know, it's essential. Like, if you don't wear this, your eyeshadow is just gonna melt off at some point. So, I just rub that on my eyes. This stuff is amazing. I mean, honestly, 
smooth it all round, all the way up the brow bone into the centre, all the way up in the corners, um, and the rest, whatever's left, I just put under my eyes, just under the lash line. There we are, primed, raring to go. Now, the foundation of choice that I have just been <sighs> double wear. Yes, double wear. Ye old faithful. This does not let you down. I mean, I was wearing this all day Saturday at a barbecue, boiling hot, sunglasses. I wear the shade 2W one dawn um and it didn't leave any sunglasses marks or anything it just looked incredible i mean i can't even okay it does not get chalky it does not cake it does not crack you know like it's just amazing and it's not thick like with anything, you've got to figure out the best way um, to wear something that suits you because, you know, this is, everyone thinks, oh my gosh, it's heavy foundation. It's not at all, guys. If you use it with a beauty blender and you use a small amount, which is the trick here, especially in hot weather, the trick is not to over overdo it. Do you know what I mean? You've got to put a really thin amount to get that kind of wear because the thicker it is um you know the more greasy it's gonna get you know what i mean but this is like one blob all over my face you don't need any more than that i don't think anyway okay that's that it just it just my gosh. Then, I, of course, my um, Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Light Medium. I love how smooth and soft this looks. And I just do one. Just a bit here and there. Dunk, dunk. One can get carried away with such things. And then I just take my Real Techniques complexion Fung and... Dab that in. And what's nice about this shade is, over the eyelids as well, is that it's not so stark white. It's actually probably a shade lighter than my foundation. A shade. We're talking a shade lighter. So it looks a lot more um, natural. But again, you know, um, you really don't need, and if you feel like you put too much on that side, you can kind of blend it on that side. Over the eyelids, because I just love that kind of uniformed um, look. Around the brows. You see it's not too bright, which is really what I like, because um, otherwise it's just gonna look too stark. Okay, now, under eyes secret brightener and this is amazing because again it's very very light you know you're not going to be adding a ton of product and i just tap that make sure underneath is you've not got any lines underneath and i tap that underneath again with my sponge and over the eyelid and it just creates an invisible um an invisible shield, I want to say. Again, on the other side, make sure you've removed all the lines under the eyes. And pat that under. Oi, oi, I always use this for under my eyes because it's just so nice and it's got a little bit of brightening effect. Okay, now the piece de resistance. This is what makes it bulletproof is applying a loose powder with your wet sponge. This is probably news to all of you, um, but I've only just tried it recently and it's freaking amazing. I'm using the Max Factor loose powder. This is just translucent. 
Um, and this technique, I'm telling you, is freaking incredible. Like, so you put the powder on the end of your sponge and you just look at that. I am telling you, right? Look at that, the matteness. This locks your foundation in forever. I mean, forever. This is such an insane technique. Like, it works so amazingly, I can't even believe it. Like, this, seriously, this is what does it. This is what locks it down. It's amazing. I don't know why I never freaking tried this before. Not only that, you can do your entire makeup with just one tool. You know what I mean? I mean, oh my God, look at, just the, and the way it, because what this does as well is it presses the powder into the skin. It's not sitting on top of the skin. It keeps skin so freaking smooth. I can't even freaking believe it. Like, this is my new, this is, this is like holy grail status makeup at the moment. Oh my goodness. Okay, face is set, fantastic, perfection. I go in with bronzer and I always, always use my ambient lighting um, luminous bronze because I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> Gosh. Honestly. Down the sides of the nose. A bit under the neck. Sometimes I go into the eye socket. Mm -hmm. And then for blush, I'm using the Becca, I think it is called Songbird, the one in the middle, the uh, bronzy one. Oh my goodness. Mm. Gorgeous. Mm. I love these bronzy colors in summer. Oh my. I feel so I feel so fresh and summery, gorgy gorge. Then I like to go in with my highlighter and this is the Delilah Pure Light. Obsessed with this, always have been. Um I just use this and kind of get onto the and I do kind of like a C shape. I kind of go under my brows a highlight and kind of here as well as it's just like a C just on the tops of the cheekbones. That is, again, it's a really subtle highlight um, that's not, I like to go just here. It's a really subtle highlight, so it's not gonna be too harsh, like, you know, too mega. Then on, on my eyes, I had um, Urban Decay Naked 2 Chopper. I'm all about this color for uh, summer, it's lovely. And that just goes all over the lid. Like that. Blend it all out. I've kind of been doing the, this where I tip my head back and kind of really bring it up. Like that. And so it's like an all over lid wash. Which I really like. Again, packing that colour on the actual lid and then tipping my head back and just bringing it up. So I can all over and bring it under as well. Corner, up, up, up. Da, 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 da. Gosh, I love that colour. Isn't it stunning colour? Like that is all you need. You don't even need anything else. I put that underneath like that. That is all you need, okay? Then I go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Pencil Liner and Coffee. This is amazing. Again, you know, it's not gonna budge. It's gonna um, stay put. And I literally just rub a line like that, turn it over to the blending side, and I just drag it kind of inwards and outwards. So you get a really kind of soft, diffused line. 
so it just looks kind of just soft you know and again like i said it lasts a million years they don't call it double wear for nothing do they so again just and what's nice about this is that you don't have to be neat um you know because it's summertime and you want to get the hell on with it and uh, you may be on holiday or whatever you don't want to be taking forever to do your makeup so this is a great way of doing it. I love doing this. So, and you can kind of, and the thing is you can just drag it out as much as you want, but it's kind of soft. It kind of looks really soft and natural. So, and you can just kind of blend out like that. That's all I do for that. Then, my eyelash colors are all the way over there, so never mind. I'm gonna go in with mascara. This is the Curl Addict in black brown. Um, it's a nice soft colour, so you're not um, you're not going too harsh. Nice big brush, coat those lashes. I always find mascara is like the one thing that takes ages to do. The only thing with this is, um, you know, the brush is so big that. I kind of get it everywhere on my eye and I try to look down and all of that you know but you know okay see it's because it's black brown it's not just brown it's it's got a little bit more um definition to it it just looks a bit more um natural for summer i think and then for lips i have been absolutely obsessing nyx athens with the lip liner um bed rose now you know remember my favorites video i was wearing Scylla all day lip color in bellissima this is the dupe of it okay mega dupe mega dupe okay oh my god this stuff is gorgeous it doesn't budge it looks incredible it's cheap as chips i mean seriously guys it really is uh you can eat a burger i was having a burger as i always do it's just a nice oh, i've got hair on my lip oh, sick it's just a nice, natural, um, you know, summer colour. I just love it. And then what I like to do is align with, um, this is the Glide On, Slide On, Stay All Day, Waterproof Lip Liner. Amazing. Oh my god, amazing. And then I like to go over it again. God, these smell like strawberry milkshakes. And there you have it. Oh, finishing touch, never ever forget the fixing spray. This is Urban Decay All Nighter. This will ensure your makeup stays on for the rest of your freaking life. And I'm telling you, it won't budge. Crazy. I had this on all day long till midnight. My face still looked perfect. There you have it. Natural all day. Flawless. Won't melt. Budge proof. Bulletproof. Everything proof. Makeup. I hope you enjoyed this and I shall talk to you all soon. Bye.